So I just got through finishing up um, uh, posting and, and looking at a timeline that I've been walking and doing an SRA, um, in doing an SRA course in <clears throat> on Destiny Universe, and I mean I I'm just amazed at the release that I have felt from walking a timeline um, of a mind construct that I, ex uh, with regards to something I experienced, gosh, when I was probably eight, nine years old, and it's just, it's just amazing, really, because I was able to walk through memories that I didn't even fucking know I had anymore and released a lot of stuff. Released a lot of bullshit. So what I'm wanting to share here is that it's worth it to face yourself within self-honesty and self-forgiveness and in seeing what you know, seeing all the shit that I've hung on to for so long I mean, I'm like 51 years old and fucking, I didn't even know I could remember some of the stuff that I could remember with regards to when I was younger and I would come home from school and <clears throat> I always had like my mom always had like a set of chores, you know, that she had me do. And it was as though, it's like I'd walk through the door and I would have to do these, like, vacuum and dust. And, and so what I've been doing is walking this timeline out, like, actually walking it out from moment to moment, walking it out. And I've had a lot, I've had, I've had amazing assistance <coughs> from Destiny, from Destiny Universe to do this. Um, Destiny has been is my SRA buddy and she's been helping me assisting me and I'm telling you it has been amazing <clears throat> and I'm just blown away actually <laughs> by the stuff that I've come to realize um, that I was still hanging on to so very grateful for that and I'm still releasing some of it so also I wanted to share that <clears throat> Um, it's been seven days today since I quit smoking. And I haven't shared this really that much with anybody because, honestly, I didn't trust myself. If I didn't trust myself as far as did I, I didn't want to put myself in a position where I would be getting attention for not smoking because that would just be defeating the whole purpose of facing myself. So... I smoked for 26 years, and I tried quitting probably three other times <clears throat> in the within the 26 years, and I always failed. I tried nicotine gum, I tried the patches, but never did I ever face myself within it so honestly, uh, within self honesty as I as I am now. And um, what really assisted me as well, in addition to the fact that many um, forum members on Destiny have stopped smoking and I had to look at my look within myself in self honesty as to why was I stopping because I don't believe that I mean I don't I know that smoking is not um, dangerous per se to um, a person um, it's the beliefs within the smoking it's what it's what we believe about the smoking that causes them um, you know, the damage and the problems and the cancer and all that. And that's neither here nor there. The point is, I decided to stop because um, of um, realizing um, that the coping mechanism of smoking that I was using smoking for, just using it as a crutch, using it as coping, as me coping, and within that coping, suppressing. And so what really helped me was um, a week ago, it was like 
on the 11th because I stopped smoking on the mid at midnight on the 12th of June. And prior to that, I was watching a video, some videos of Kelly Posey. And um, Kelly, wow, she really assisted me in uh, realizing, <laughs> in seeing the magic trick isn't real. You know, the magic, you can see the trick. The, you can see the, the, the trick of it. I, I, I'm not saying it really well right now how she said it. But the point is, she really, really assisted me. And I want to thank Kelly for that a lot, um, a whole lot, because I'm a little nervous right now, but I'm going to slow down now and breathe better. Um, I have experienced in this, in this seven days of not smoking, what I have experienced is I'm actually breathing better. I had myself kind of fooled in believing that, you know, that cigarettes were actually assisting me with breath and what I realized and, and everybody's different I'm not giving a positive or neg I'm not trying to put a negative or, or positive spin on this because everybody's different but what I found was that I was actually smoking was actually um, it was it was not assisting me in my breathing I'm actually been breathing better it's as though I feel lighter you know I almost feel like I'm not as bloated in my stomach so I guess I'm what I, I I can tell that I'm breathing in better through my diaphragm just breathing in and out better I'm breathing actually noticing my breath I'm more aware of my breath and within this I've, I've actually not experiencing myself so bloated like in my stomach it's almost like I was more bloated when I was smoking so it's kind of strange but it's actually been really an interesting experience and but prior to stopping smoking on the 11th, what I did was I was watching Kelly's um, videos and I started paying attention to myself and every time I would go to have a cigarette and what I started seeing was every time I'd go to have that cigarette, you know, I, was, I could see the coping mechanism within it. I could see that I started seeing my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions and where I was suppressing them within reaching for that cigarette and putting that cigarette up to my mouth and smoking. And so it's been very, very interesting experience and I'm probably not even explaining it as well right now as I would, would really hope to or want to and I'm going to I'm working on this too because still it's um, difficult I'm still experiencing myself as kind of you know nervous about putting myself on camera but I'll tell you one thing this process of self-forgiveness and self-honesty is uh, it should be walked by all and it's amazing and it has been the most assistance it's been so assisting for me to stop smoking I never would have realized that I don't get up like before when I quit smoking years ago I would like wake up in the mornings I wouldn't even want to get out of bed because I'd think oh my god I can't even have a fucking cigarette I don't want to get out of bed because I can't have a fucking cigarette and I have not experienced that this time because I'm doing it I'm, it's, it's my starting point is completely different because now I'm it's like a great experience, uh, a, a great experiment with myself, you know. It's like pushing myself, pushing myself to face myself within self-honesty, and it's very, very cool. I apologize I'm not explaining it very well, but I wanted to at least uh, say that I'm very grateful for all the assistance I've had, and I'm, I am experiencing a little bit of headache, and I've had a little bit of high blood pressure. Interesting that my blood pressure has actually kind of went up a little bit since I quit smoking, um, because... Uh, I'm not really sure why on that. I'm still searching that out, and I'll, I'll figure that out. But um, I have had a little bit of high blood pressure come and go, and I've had, you know a little bit of anxiety. But fuck that shit. I'm enjoying this. I'm actually seeing myself. I'm experiencing myself better, and I'm experiencing myself more real, and it's fucking worth it. So stop smoking. Go to Destiny Universe. Face yourself. You know. It's, the, it's, it's goddamn worth it. So, come and say hi to us, just in the universe. Um, it's, a, it's a walk well, well taken. Thanks.